Today, I'm taking every NFL quarterback and releasing them to free agency. Let's see what kind of chaos we can get when every NFL team has fair game at each NFL quarterback. We are here in the franchise where every single quarterback is in free agency, man. L let me show you that what I mean by every single quarterback, I mean every single quarterback, not just the starters, every single quarterback. I want to give a shout out to Dragon2632 for this video idea. Your comment should have just popped up on the screen. It should still be on the screen. It might, it might be gone by now, but your comment should have popped up on the screen, man. Thank you for this video idea. And this is just a chance for y'all that's watching to leave me a video idea i will get to it i know he commented the, the idea like 12 days ago by the time y'all seeing this is gonna be 14 days ago so it's gonna be two weeks ago but i remember man i remember i i get the comments and i remember man i remember i write them down i remember but you see right here on the roster you know it's it looking good it's taking a while to load up you wanna know why because there are no quarterbacks because when you go to quarterback let me show you nothing absolutely nothing and everybody is fair game everybody's everybody's fair game everybody is free for the taking you see i'm right here in the preseason so nothing has happened yet um we go right here to free agents we're gonna go over here to quarterback and now you will see that every single quarterback is here all the starters all the backups and everybody here everybody has their price you can only get them from one year then you gotta re-sign them so Patrick Mahomes ain't gonna be on that friendly deal that they signed him up for in real life he's gonna have to get that max contract he's gonna have to get that max contract man everybody's everybody's free for the taking so I'm see at week one when everybody should have been signed through the preseason and then we'll go from there man we are at week one and you see everybody's gone they're all gone they're all been taken nobody here is left let's go see where everybody ended up all right here we go we better find out where everybody went on top of leave me a video idea if you don't have a video idea leave me a comment of your favorite quarterback that's playing currently in the nfl man i just want to see what y'all see who y'all like man let's see but right now we got patrick mahomes on the patriots i don't know who he's throwing the ball to but he's on the patriots lamar is also on the Patriots. Joe Burrows on the Seahawks. Josh Allen on the Texans. Dak on the Dolphins. Tua on the Vikings. Herbert on the Texas. Did anybody? Did somebody? Else, what the heck? They're double dipping. What? What's going on here? Why would y'all need two of them? J Jalen Hurts is also on the Seahawks. What's going on? He's also on the. Oh my goodness! This is great. Shout out! Shout out to um. The dragon for this idea because this is in, insane Kirk Cousins on the Bears and Stafford on the Browns Commanders get Aaron Rodgers Jared Goff on the Falcons Jordan Love goes back to the Packers I know I do have at least one Jordan Love and Packers fans somewhere in the comments somewhere in my subscriptions so somebody loved him and he came back to the Packers it's real love it's real love pun intended what CJ Stroud also went to the Dolphins somebody please somebody please look oh my goodness what is going on he went back to the steel so maybe it's meant to be uh yeah man this this is crazy like look at the double dipping it's crazy Jaden Daniels went back to the commander so maybe it's meant to be guys maybe it's meant to be um yeah let's let's see what let's see what happens here maybe somebody makes some trades or something and that helps them out but I, I, oh my goodness like lamar and mahomes going to the same team and it being the patriots it's insane but all right let's go all right it's time to look at the standings if we get cowboys and chiefs at the top of these standings i'm go <laughs> uh you know what I'm not going to judge because I don't know who they got. I don't remember who the Cowboys quarterback is. But, all right, let's go. Cowboys and Raiders. So, we got Eagles, Texans, 49ers, Titans, Steelers, Vikings, Falcons, Bills, Dolphins, Seahawks, Colts. So, you're telling me the Patriots with Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, that quarterback, they couldn't figure nothing out? That mean, that's how bad the Patriots roster is, man. At least the offense. Like, come on. What is What you mean? And then you got the Buccaneers down here. And don't, okay, at least it's not the Saints. I was just about to say, let it not be the Saints. And we got the Chicago Bears. That's the worst team in the league. That Sim Cowboy system is something else. Bo Nix, probably one of the lowest rated quarterbacks, had like a 70. 
just hops in there and leads the league in passing. Okay, okay. Kenny Pickett, Mahomes, and Donna Tua, like, yo, like them boys, them boys gave no care in the world. They said the Cowboys are gonna win no matter what. Look at the touchdowns, bro. He he had to win MVP. He had to. He definitely won Rookie of the Year. Like this is this is. I can't I can't explain how crazy that is. Mariota, Trey Lance, y'all, dang, that, come on, man, that, this is what we got, we had free reign of picking any quarterback, and we picked Bailey, that, <laughs> what are we doing, all right, okay, 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 you know, and I just showed the receiving, I just showed the top of the receiving, I won't even scroll through it, y'all can just pause and kind of look a little bit, yeah, here it goes, and here's the touchdowns. Look at look at the Cowboys. All right. Yeah, there was no way he was losing that MVP. There was no way he was losing the MVP. He shouldn't have. They got it absolutely right, and I guess they got that right too. Uh, we're gonna look at us play of the year. We got Joe Mixon with our best um, office play of the year. Let's see if we go to office of rookie of the year. Okay, okay. Let's see best quarterback. Mahomes win best quarterback. I don't. Oh, well, it's the AFC. I was gonna say I don't know how he won over Bo Nix, but Bo Nix is in the NFC, which he might have cleaned up all the worst. No, Saquon. Saquon got Officer Player of the Year. Officer Rookie of the Year goes to Bo Nix, and I'm gonna tell you right now, best quarterback also is going to go to Bo Nix. All right, here's the first playoff bracket, and you know what? From the AFC side, I don't remember who went where, but you know what? Let's go for the. Houston Texans in the NFC. Um, let's go with let's, let's go with the Minnesota Vikings. Let's go with the Vikings. All right, we got the Dallas Cowboys and the Las Vegas Raiders. I don't know who the quarterback of the Raiders is. Let me go take a look real quick. It's Taylor Taylor Heineke in the Super Bowl against Bo Nix and the Cowboys. I'm going Cowboys. Cowboys seem like they they have this one on lock. Welcome to Las Vegas where the Raiders are getting the home Super Bowl. I completely forgot about that. But they're playing the Cowboys. The Cowboys, I'm, I'm picking y'all for once. Well, I think I picked y'all before in a recent video. But I'm picking y'all this time. Don't let me down. Alright, here we go for a Super Bowl of the video. Let's see what we got going. The Cowboys strike. The Raiders stall out. And we got we just got a we just got a stall. Stall battle as the Cowboys do get another field goal. Get another field goal. And the Raiders are finally going to score. They get a field goal. The Cowboys go down and get a touchdown. I think the Cowboys have this wrapped up nice and tight in a blanket. Put it on the bow. The Cowboys win the first Super Bowl of the video with Bo Nix as their quarterback 27 to 6. We we finna go to free agency. This is the first time we finna go to free agency. We finna go to free agency because it's gonna get hectic. But right now we're gonna celebrate the Cowboys winning a championship. I'm gonna see you at the trophy presentation. There you go, Dallas. Bo Nix has brought you a Super Bowl, man. So if you wanna talk to the to the Broncos, go ahead and trade Dak for Bo Nix, and there you go. You gonna get your ring, man. Simple as that. Free agency is going to see Jalen Hurts sign with my Baltimore Ravens. You know what I'm saying? Discount Lamar Jackson in the building. <laughs> uh, we got Justin Herbert staying in L.A. Just going um, to the other L.A. team with the Rams. That should be better for him. Brock Purdy going to the Commanders. We got Jordan Love going to the Buccaneers. C.J. Stroud going to the Giants. Baker to the Titans. T-Law to the Bears. Caleb Williams to the Jets. We got... Anthony Richardson to the Chiefs. Oh my god, the Chiefs might be dangerous now. They might be dangerous now. They might be come back in this video. We got Sam Howell to the Eagles, Deshaun to the Lions, Bryce to the Chargers, Mac Jones to the Panthers, and yeah, we're getting down to um two more of the backups here. Um yeah, so you got we got some heavy hitters. We got we got some heavy hitters. We should see some more teams, some different teams into the playoffs, man. Let's go. Look at what we got here. My Baltimore Ravens went from five wins to 14 wins with Jalen Hurts under the helm. Best team in the conference, best team in the league. We also got the Cowboys in the playoffs, the Vikings, the Dolphins, the 49ers, the Eagles, the Jets, the Jaguars, the Titans, the Seahawks, the Bills, and the Buccaneers. Okay, I was going to say, I'm assuming at least one more team is down here. We got the Chargers and we got the Saints. Look at the Saints. There you go, Saints. 
Who's the worst team in the league? Who's the worst team in the league? My homes cannot get it done. Who's the worst team in the league? It's going to be the Carolina Panthers, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Arizona Cardinals in a three-way tie. I, I don't know what it is about that system. It just works, huh? It just works. Uh, two was here. We don't know what it is about that system as well that just works. They both threw a lot of interceptions, but I guess they're throwing the ball all the time. Here we go. We're scrolling through. Y'all can take a look at it. Pause it whenever y'all want. But did I just see Aiden O'Connor on the Bills? All right, whatever. You know what? That means it's time to move on to a new category. Let's look at the touchdowns. Shout out to Anthony Richardson, who's also tied with Jordan Love on the Buccaneers. Um, yeah, here we go. I think we're seeing some some team switch, and did we didn't see it in free agency? Um, like I know this is different. He's now in the Jaguars. What else is different? Um. I think I seen one more that different and that may be different. Okay, whatever. Let's go to the interception. God dang, Caleb. Good lord. Bryce and Russ, like Russ still starting, guys. <laughs> like what happened? I thought <laughs> I thought Jordan Love was on the Packers. Okay, whatever, man. We'll look at the receiving real quick. Um here you go, C D Lamb, here you go, and then touchdowns. He goes to Puka Nakua with 15 touchdowns tied with Amari Cooper. Joe Burrow on the Seattle Seahawks is going to be your MVP with Jordan Love runner up your coach of the year. It's going to be John Harbaugh. You know we love to see it over here as some Ravens fans. And we got Amari Cooper winning Officer Player of the Year, man. And then we go over to Best Quarterback where we're going to have Jalen Hurts winning it for the AFC. And then for Best Wide Receiver, we got Amari Cooper also taking that home. And for the NFC, we're going to have Christian McCaffrey winning Officer Player of the Year. Not surprised by that at all. And then best quarterbacks is gonna to go to Jordan Love. I don't whatever. Um and best wide receiver is gonna to go to C D Lamb. If you think I'm picking against my Ravens, you thought wrong. It, it ain't happening. And then on the NFC side, if I wanna see a team win, let's see, let's see Jordan Love with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers make it to the Super Bowl. Alright, we're really doing this, huh? The Dallas Cowboys are gonna get a home game. And they're going to be playing against the Miami Dolphins in the Super Bowl. We just seen the Cowboys win. Miami, it's your turn to win. Welcome to Texas. Dallas, Texas to be exact. As we got the Super Bowl between the Dallas Cowboys and the Miami Dolphins, man. I don't remember who's the quarterback of the Dolphins. I can't tell who that is by that face mask. We'll figure it out in a minute. I, yeah, I don't know. Number 12, I don't know. This should be an interesting one because that is Dak Prescott on the Dolphins trying to get a Super Bowl against the Cowboys. What a storyline it is. Let's see who's going to come out on top, man. I'm going for you, Dak. I'm going for the Dolphins because we just seen the Cowboys ring. I don't want to see another one. But they're going to strike first. But Miami, they're going to come back and strike again. And they're going to strike twice. So we got 14-10. They got 21-7. Hold on. Wait. Whoa. We're going fast pace now. They just had to, to wake up and, and choose violence. And we got another close game in the Dolphins. They're holding strong, they're holding strong, and they get the W, 31-23. I know I was a little behind on the commentating, but it's all right, because the Miami Dolphins are your Super Bowl champions, taking out Dallas and Dallas. How you like that, Cowboys? How you like that? Let's go to the trophy presentation. The Dak Prescott Revenge Tour is complete as the Miami Dolphins gets the Super Bowl championship holding up that Lombardi trophy. Dak Prescott doing it in Dallas, but on another team. All right, we do have a little bit more playoff movement as Jaden Daniels goes to the Cardinals. Drake May goes to the Panthers. Um, a couple people are without a job. Even J.J. McCarthy, who's only 22. Who doesn't want J.J. McCarthy? Um, um, he wants 13 mil a year. But you know what I'm saying? Like, who don't want J.J.? Like, Michael Penix. I know he's 25, but you know what I'm saying? You know, Trey Lance, he, he got a job. Like, what's going on here? Uh, Spencer Rattler, Jameis. Nobody wants Jameis. Come on, man. Jameis is a great locker room guy. But anyway, we're moving on to season three. Okay, it is time for season three. Let's see who's going to come out on time. Let's see who we got. Let's see who we got. We got the Chicago Bears. Don't remember who they got. Oh, they, I think, is it Trevor Lawrence? Is it Trevor Lawrence? I think it's Trevor Lawrence. I know they got Caleb Williams unless something has happened before I've seen it so we got the Bears the Jets the Cowboys the Broncos 49ers Dolphins Patriots Rams Buccaneers Vikings Seahawks Ravens and Texans and we got the Chiefs down here anybody else down here nope 
So who is the worst team in the league? And it's going to be the Cincinnati Bengals. So I'm supposed to believe that this is normal. I'm just supposed to be okay with this. This this, 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 this what we're doing. Do you see that stat line? Come on, bro. What are we talking about here? Like, that's just supposed to be normal. I'm just supposed to be okay with that. Like, I'm not supposed to question that. I'm not supposed to question the, the OPness of that system. Like, bro. Like, Madden. Yeah, y'all got to fix that. Like, look at this 12 more touch. That, what overall is this man? He was a 70. He was a 70. This man is a 90 over. Oh, my God. He's an X Factor now. Like, what the? All right. You know, like, I've never even done that in one of these sims. But it, it's just so crazy that that system is just really like that. Hold on. Wait, who did I see? Okay, we do. We still got Jay Turner. Okay. But we got 22 picks by Anthony Richardson. They still made the playoffs somehow. Like, what is going on? We got three people throwing 20 plus picks. You know, we got a bunch of people here. And let me go just look at the receiver for y'all so y'all can just get a snapshot of who's at the top. And let me get CD Lamb. I'm gonna get CD Lamb. Yep, yeah, of course. You know, you can never go wrong against CD Lamb. Look, look at that Marvin Harrison sighting. That, that's that's interesting. I see some Keon Coleman down there. I see some Chris Godwin. Look at uh, DJ Moore, Marvin Harrison down here. Look, Semi Uke. Semi Uke is here. All right. Uh, look, look at Khalil Shakir down there, man. MVP goes to Bo Nix, of course. That, that's that line. Was, that, that's too crazy. The Jets win coach of the year, but Robert Sala. I don't even think that's their actual coach anymore. Jalen Hurts win the Officer Player of the Year. And we got for the best quarterback. We got Jacob Herring for the Denver Broncos. And then for the best wide receiver, we got Devontae Adams for the Las Vegas Raiders. And then for the NFC, we're going to have Officer Player of the Year. Well, I guess wide best wide receiver is going to be CD Lamb because I couldn't go back, go, go back quick enough. Bo Dix is going to be an Officer Player of the Year. And I guess he's getting best quarterback too. And it's a clean sweep for the Dallas Cowboys. This is how the playoff bracket unfolds. You know, I want to see my Baltimore Ravens in there. But if not, let me see. You know, we're going to stick on to the AFC side. Let me see Caleb Williams and the Jets make the Super Bowl. I am for sure not mad at this one. We got the seven seed Chiefs and the six seed Vikings. Um, I know the Chiefs have Anthony Richardson, but who is the quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings? I, I can't quite remember. It's going to be two attack of our lower. You know what? Let, let's go for the let's go for the Vikings. Let's go for the Vikings. Let's go to it because the Vikings don't really do much in these Sims, as, but the Chiefs are always a recurring thing. So let's go Vikings. Welcome to Atlanta ATL, home of the Falcons, but it ain't no birds today. We got the Vikings, we got the Chiefs, we got Justin Jefferson, we got Rasheed Rice. Anthony Richardson wearing number 15 is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Let's go Vikings. All right, here we go, man. Let's see what the Vikings going to do. And the Chiefs get a field goal. They drive down. They go get the touchdown. Vikings, you got to score. There you go. There's a touchdown. But they came right back. You need to stop them and you got to score. Y'all been stalling out a lot. There's another touchdown. But the Chiefs come back and answer it. Y'all going to have to stop them, man. Y'all got to stop them. There's a touchdown. Y'all going to need to stop right here. Y'all get there. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. It is second and 10. I stopped there right on time. Do we have a chance? It, it was an incomplete pass, so they have a chance. So we're going to jump in right here. I should have jumped in earlier. My fault. I was too immersed into the scoreboard. So now let's go ahead and see if we can get a play to happen. It's going to be a field goal for the win from the 28-yard line. And it is up. And it is good. The Chiefs steal a Super Bowl from the Minnesota Vikings. Wait. I forgot the score. It's tied up. Y'all probably looking at me. Well, y'all not looking at me. Y'all looking at the screen like, what is he talking about? No. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let me lock in. Let me lock in. You know, I just want to notice that there's 15 extra seconds on the clock. I don't know how there's 15, 15, and not just 15 minutes, but whatever. I will go manually as we see. I can't even see where, where's the drive at. Why are y'all not showing me the things? Anyway. All right. The, okay, there we go. 
the Vikings did not score, but it looks like the Chiefs did score. So the Chiefs did steal the Super Bowl from the Minnesota Vikings, 30 to 27. They won with a field goal anyway, as Anthony Richardson gets it done in that Chiefs system. So we we still see the Cowboys and we still see the Chiefs winning Super Bowls. It's just inevitable at this point. I'm gonna have to figure out. Y'all might have to figure out some kind of uh, idea to not have the Chiefs and Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Anthony Richardson gets a deserved ring because we're Anthony Richardson fans over here and the Chiefs are going to raise that trophy once again man there you go season four and we got the Cowboys here at the top of the league along with the Jets we got the Giants showing up we got the Steelers we got the Buccaneers the Seahawks the Raiders the Patriots the Eagles skip the Dolphins we got the Rams the Browns the Texans the Colts skip the Falcons and we got the Bears anybody else down here no it does not look like it who's the best team in the league and it's gonna be a tie between the Jaguars Chargers and Bills Come on, man. This is just ridiculous. Like, come on, bro. What do, what do you want me to do about this? Like, he, he's going to... All right. Let's just see everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, he don't count. He don't count anymore. <laughs> like, what, like, how is that even possible? Like, like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right. Let's look at touchdowns. Let's see here. Okay. What, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tyler Huntley? All right. All right. Pro Bowl Hunt? All right. Pro Bowl Hunt? That's what I'm talking about. We, we appreciate that little Huntley over here. You already know, man. You already know that. Uh, let's look at the top end. It says Bryce Young, Michael Penny, Drake May. Uh, y'all got to tone it down, man. If y'all want to win, y'all got to tone it down. And we're going to look at the receiver. CD Lamb or Brandon Ayuk? Which one is it? Which one is it? Come on. Of course. Of course. Of course. Brandon Ayuk was down there. It was just Jefferson Knicks. Anyway. Uh, let's, oh, there you go. There you, there you go. Uh, look, let's see who else we got up in here. We got some Amar um, Saint Brown. We haven't talked about him today. Uh, we got some some Cam. Is that Cam Sutton? Not Cam Sutton. Collins. Um, man, I I forgot the man. Is it Cortland Sutton? There we go. Cortland Sutton. What where did I get those other two names from? Who who is Cam Sutton and and Collins Sutton? What, whatever whatever we got nico collins i'm going to talk about him too he, he he's on the cowboys oh so great we're great uh, let me guess of course of course of course who else would it have been who else would it have been and robert Sala, robert Sala and mike mccarthy just trading that award back and forth between each other uh jonathan taylor wins officer play of the year that's new we haven't seen that uh, best quarterback goes to Dak in the AFC. Best wide receiver in the AFC goes to Devontae Adams. Shout out to Devontae Adams. Shout out to Devontae Adams getting some work in the day in these uh, in this sim. In the NFC, we got Brandon Ayuk taking it from Bo Nix. Let's see. Best quarterback. We already know that's Bo Nix. Let's go ahead and move on. Best wide receiver is going to be Brandon Ayuk, of course, because he won off his play of the year. Let's go to the playoff bracket. All right, my Ravens ain't in the playoffs, so this time, let's see. You know, I'm going to go back with the Jets. Let's go with the Jets. And then on the NFC, let's go with, you know what? Let's go with the New York Giants. We got Seattle Seahawks and the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. You know who I'm going with, man. You know who I'm rocking with. Let's go with the Seattle Seahawks because, you know, we don't we don't mess with Pittsburgh over here. You know, y'all might do. But, but me? Mm -mm. Nah, we got to go with the Seahawks on this one. Welcome to Miami, Florida, baby. Hard Rock Stadium. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers. We got the Seattle Seahawks. We got Justin Fields. And we got Joe Burrow. Is he wearing number three? Is he wearing Russell Wilson's jersey? That's disrespectful. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Seattle, you know I'm going for you, man. And Pittsburgh going to go down and score for us. And they're going to score again. Seattle, come on. Do something, please. They get a touchdown. Come on, do it something else. No, no, no. Do something else. There you go. There you go. Let's go. 14-14. We in the fourth quarter. Let me slow it down real quick. It's a three-point game. All right, Seattle with the ball. They just got sacked. So, but they driving, though. They driving. They getting down the field. They ain't field goal range. It's 30-15. They ain't get it, but they going to get the field goal. And Pittsburgh right here with a chance to take the lead. It's closing in on field goal range they got sacked this first and 20 and they gonna hit them with a 28 and it looks like they might escape out it y'all didn't score <laughs> y'all had two timeouts no no i don't know if they had timeouts but it's ot man let's go ahead and see what pittsburgh gonna do they get the ball first they're gonna go down and remember it's the new rules 
so they get a score right here that doesn't end the game which they do get the touchdown but it's time for seattle seattle can you go down and get the touchdown they had a 36 yard line i want to see some gameplay we have to see some gameplay let's go it feels like every time i'm jumping in on one of these simulations joe burrow is somewhere on the field as he was on with the saints he was with the Bengals, and now he's with the seahawks on three straight videos and joe burrow is looking he finds his man that's jackson smith and the jigba jsn getting the catch and we might be looking at the seattle seahawks touchdown second and ten you need to get to the two yard line for a first down obviously the end zone for the touchdown Joe Burrow looking for his man. He's scrambling now. He's going to throw an interception. That's going to be it. And I don't know who that is, but that man was rolling. And that's going to end the game for the Steelers, man. That's tough. All right. We have been caught up in the glitch um, because they picked it off to end the game. So, I mean, I ain't want to see this, the Steelers get a trophy presentation anyway. But, you know, Steelers fans out there, you y'all won y'all see it right here i'm gonna leave it up here for the screen i might zoom in on it right here so you can see that y'all did win i i can't hide it but no show presentation it is season five last season of the video let's see what we got for this time in the standings and we're gonna get the, the kansas city chiefs all right the chiefs the seahawks the bears the dolphins the not the seahawks i said I almost said the seahawks again let me let me run that again hold on <clears throat> The Chiefs, the Seahawks, the Bears, the Dolphins, the Cardinals, the Panthers, the Cowboys, the Browns, the Chargers, the Broncos, the Raiders. Skip the Steelers. We got the Colts, the Jets, the, um, not the Jets. Skip the Jets, the Buccaneers, the Falcons. And then let's see who is down here as the worst team in the league. And it's going to be the Buffalo Bills. If this is Bo Nix. It's not. It's Anthony Richardson, but Bo Nix is right there. He just sitting there. He just sitting there. He's like, I ain't going to do it this time, but I'm going to get close. But yes, yeah, Anthony Richardson, I'm going to scroll through right here. We got some Bryce Young, we got some um, Trevor Lawrence, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, it, it, it's, it's been the same. It's been the same. I haven't really seen no Lamar, no Mahomes, no uh, Burrow, really. None, the, none of those top guys, top guys I haven't seen. Uh, but Bo next year, run away with the touchdowns as normal in this video. Um, interceptions, we got Anthony Richardson, Bryce Young, golf, you know what I'm saying? And then we go here to receiving... CD Lamb, Ayu, DJ Moore, DJ Moore, look at Chris Olave, Christian Kirk, um, let's see, yeah, Devontae Smith, we get down there, I see you, man, I see y'all, let's see, touchdowns go to Josh Downs, Quentin Johnson, he's actually catching things, uh, JSN, Nico Cousins, Xavier Leggett, Xavier Leggett down here, man, um, yeah, let's go to awards, I'm guessing this is Bo Nix, yeah, of course, um, let me see, Henry Brock, um, auto generated coach for the Panthers, is going to win coach of the year. For the AFC, we got Jonathan Taylor once again winning the offensive player of the year. And then best quarterback, we got Jacob Herring. And then best wide receiver, we have Josh Downs. And then for the NFC, oh, let's see if I hurry, let's see if I get it. Ah, I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it. We got Ren Nayuk for the best wide receiver in the NFC with Bo Nix winning the offensive player of the year. And I'm assuming winning best quarterback. Your final playoff bracket looks like this, and I'm gonna say let's go for. Hmm, oh, I even hit the mic. Let's go for. Uh, for the AFC, let's go for the Broncos. Um, then for the NFC, let's see the Seahawks. They just lost the Super Bowl, so we gonna move on to the um, Carolina Panthers. There we go. You know what? I'll take half. I'll take 50% of the guests right. I almost said the Seahawks again, but you know, they had already already went for them and they already lost, so I wanted to see another team. So we got the Broncos in here. We got the Seahawks rematch of Super Bowl 48. Super Bowl 48? Yeah, 48. Where the Seahawks absolutely dismantled the Broncos. Let's see if it's the repeats itself or where the Broncos come on top this time. And we're going for the Broncos. We are in the bay. We are in the Bay, the Tampa Bay, as the Seahawks and the Denver Broncos get ready to square off. We've already seen the Seahawks. They just fell short to the Chiefs, but the Broncos, who is their quarterback? I don't even remember, but let's go.
Oh yeah, the Broncos have that auto-generated guy, the Jacob Herring guy who's been dominating. So let's see if he can get the job done against the Seahawks. And we got a 7-7 ball game. We got a 14-7. And if, okay, okay, I thought the Broncos were about to score again. But it's tied up now, heading into halftime. 14-14, can anybody score again? And it looks like the Seahawks are going to strike, but the Broncos are going to strike back. And the Seahawks are up. 21 to 20 we gonna slow it down real quick it's 21 to 20 can they score can they get in right here the broncos getting close and they do get the score 224 left on the clock for the seahawks i'm gonna see if they can get a little drive going and then i will hop in because see that would have been a waste of my time right there and they're gonna go for it and they do not get it so this is gonna be a broncos win easily in the end 28 21 the broncos do get revenge on the seahawks Cortland sutton gets the ring i messed up his name earlier man i, I can't believe i did that earlier what did i say cam sutton uh colin sutton <laughs> yeah Cortland sutton gets his ring pastor ted javante williams still on the team man we'll go to the trophy presentation the super bowl trophy the lombardi trophy will be mile high above the ground as we are getting the Broncos championship. You know, I'm going to make an editing note as well as me saying it. But did I say mile high above the ground? I mean, mile high above sea level, above the sea bed. That, I don't know what my brain be on, man. Let's go to the season recaps to see who the season MVPs was before we end the video off. 2023 saw the Dallas Cowboys beat the Las Vegas Raiders 27 to 6 with Bo Nix being your super bowl mvp and then in 2024 we saw the miami dolphins beat the dallas cowboys 31 to 23 as dak prescott got his revenge and won super bowl mvp 2025 saw a good game between the chiefs and the vikings anthony richardson the quarterback of the chiefs won super bowl mvp as the chiefs gets number four in their history 2026 saw the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Seattle Seahawks rematch of like Super Bowl 33, 4, 5, somewhere up in there. It's, it's somewhere up in there. If y'all watch all the way to the end of the video, let me know which one that is. But Justin Fields won Super Bowl MVP as the Steelers take down the Seahawks 24 to 17. And the last one that we just saw, the Denver Broncos won 28 to 21. They get revenge for Super Bowl 48 as the Broncos get number four in their history and their right outside linebacker, Barry Browning one super bowl mvp that's gonna do it for this video man i enjoyed this and we got a little hectic it was kind of crazy man so appreciate y'all for commenting that video you know who you are your comments that'll be in the video you know it's a little late i forgot the name it's um it's dragon dragon yeah i don't remember the numbers but it's dragon appreciate you so this is your reminder to leave a comment for a video idea or just leave me a comment in general, man. If you want to say you like the content, you enjoy the video, let me know, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm be there. I'm be there to read it. I'm be there to heart it. You know what I'm saying? But while you down there, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We on the road 250 subscribers, man. And you no, know, I can't wait for the next video, man, because I'ma see you in the next one.